Well, Jaguar John played for the Rams and was a man whose running style often gave sportscasters the license to lyricize. The Rams are closing in, and here comes the topper. John Arnett has the ball, and nary a Packer can apply the stopper. Jaguar John opens the Jets and speeds away on a 68-yard play. This buys the score at 24, and you can bet Green Bay will not forget Mr. John Arnett. John played at, at uh, USC when I was in college, and John had the had a great jitterbug type of talent. He could make you miss in a dramatic fashion. He didn't get the football the way that the great tailbacks have gotten it now down through the years, where he could be a great option runner. He got it in close to the line of scrimmage, where it was probably more difficult for him to use his skill. But he probably had what I call the Marcus Allen, Kurt Warner type of skill is at the highest level and uh, just a magnificent athlete. But John Arnett was definitely one of those kind of backs where many times he used the whole field. The ideal situation is a straight line runner, but John Arnett would probably take a around the, the full course trip to the goal line. I mean, he would run from sideline to sideline many times on a plate. He's always good at dodgeball and all those games you played when, when you were young. And I think it's just something that you do out of instinct. Uh, there are a lot of average backs that have to think about it. You can ask them why they cut, and they say, well, I planted my foot and I saw the guy coming. You ask the great backs, they don't even remember it. You know, they just cut because they saw somebody and they cut. And uh, I think a style is, is something that's you. I think a lot of my characteristics came from uh, being a gymnast. From the time I was in the fourth or fifth grade, a tumbler, and uh, so I, I guess a lot of those style was balance, balance and some speed. A number one draft choice in 1957, the versatile Arnett never really became a full-time player in the pros. But as a flanker, running back, and return man, he established himself as one of the most spectacular spot performers of all time. He was known as the Jaguar. A tag that seemed appropriate to his sleek running style, but the nickname evolved from a totally different breed of feline. They nicknamed me the cat, not for the way I run. A lot of people think it was because I ran that way, but I was named uh, the cat when I was in high school because I could get in a car and go to sleep. You know, wherever we went, I'd put my head down and go to sleep. It was actually a promotion-minded L.A. sportscaster who suggested that if the cat became the Jaguar, Arnett might get a free car from the British auto manufacturer. John never got the car, but when he merged into the fast lane of the football field, he drove opponents crazy. In a 1958 contest against the Bears at the Coliseum, Arnett enjoyed his finest day as a pro when his receiving, running, and return skills netted 298 combined yards. Yet amazingly, Arnett never scored a touchdown in the game, something that was duly noted by a man he would eventually play for, Bears coach George Hallis. I think I returned a punt 80 or 90 yards and a screen pass 80 yards, and from the line of scrimmage, I've had an 80-yard run and didn't score on any of them. I got caught on the two, three, four-yard line, and I was with the Bears later. I was always coming in around 205 pounds. He wanted me to play at 198, and he finds you if you don't. And uh, I told him, I said, you know, when I play with the Rams against you, I was weighing 205 pounds. He said, yeah, but you never scored. <laughs> the Jaguar may not have impressed Papa Bear, but in the NFL jungle, he was a top cat who was voted to five straight Pro Bowls. Jaguar, John Arnett. When fans saw how he ran, they saw one of the most breathtaking broken field runners to ever play the game. In addition to Gifford and Sears, there was yet another great runner from the 50s, a tremendously gifted breakaway back called Jaguar John. John Arnett is the most exciting SC tailback I've ever seen. A four-yard run could take five minutes. Uh, and he'd get hit, spin up in the air, and come down like a cat, because he was a gymnast. And Arnett would you know, go from sideline to sideline, and every time Arnett got the ball, you instinctively kind of, you know, hunched forward on your seat. John was very fast, elusive. 
I've seen him go through, cut a somersault, and land on his feet and keep going. And what a pleasure it was just to turn around and be able to see him there and know that you can one either hand it off to him or throw it to him or get him in the, the play somehow, really. But... Had he been able to play under one of McKay's or Robinson's team and carry the ball as many times as OJ and those guys, I mean, his records would way be up there right with the top of them. Uh, I was always the youngest kid in the neighborhood. I ran around with my brother and his older brother, and his friends are all four years uh, older than I, so I, I really ran scared. You know, they were bigger kids than I, and, uh, and I was faster than most of them, uh, and so uh, Johnny...